thumb rings, index finger rings, ring finger rings. We're going to make them today. Starting with some Swarovski Crystal SS16 and a picker pen from Totally Dazzled. Some B7000 glue. A tray from Totally Dazzled's Ultimate Rhinestone Applicator Kit. And, of course, some rings. Now we're going to start by pouring some of these crystals into the tray and we are going to apply some B7000 glue into this channel set ring. See how it's got a little channel in there that you can just set the rhinestones and what I do is I just very slowly add a small bead of glue, sometimes about half of the ring and sometimes only a third of the ring, depending on how big the ring is. I think this one was a size seven. So you see there's this tiny bead of glue right in the middle. You don't wanna get it off to the side because when you put the rhinestones in there, then sometimes it squirts out and makes a mess. And you don't wanna get glue on your rhinestones because when you do that, um, it takes away the bling from the the bling factor, I should say, from the rhinestone. So I'm just going to, one by one, channel set these with the glue. Now, they're not channel set like um, diamonds are channel set. Uh, channel set diamonds are kind of squeezed all in there, and they are all um, tightly packed. These are not. Um, not to be made to be worn uh, in water or swimming or any of that, but these are stainless steel rings with Swarovski crystal, and I think they turn out really, really pretty. They look really cool on your index finger or your thumb or even your ring finger. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit because you don't want to see uh, me squirting glue and <laughs> repeating the process. I think you get the gist. Now, when I apply these stones, I just kind of tap it a little bit with the waxy nib of the applicator pen. Uh, just gives it a little bit more grab. And prior to setting these stones, I went over these rings with a little bit of alcohol. That always cleans any oils or anything like that off of the surface and helps it to adhere a little bit better. So you see I go in there how I tap tap a little bit. And after everything is dried completely, like overnight dried, I go in with a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel and I just go over it lightly. You don't have to scrub it, but I just go over it lightly and then I kind of dry it a little bit and that gives the bling factor a little 10% more, I'd say, at least. But Swarovski is very blingy as it is. So there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this project. I hope you do too. And I hope you give it a try. These rings came from Amazon. They are stainless steel and voila, here they are all ready for market. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll give me a follow in all the right places. Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, and Etsy.